Hi, this is Namrata Rao and you're watching Bollywood Hangama. Well, it's wonderful to have a national award winning editor with us, uh, Namrata Rao. Her movie is coming up, uh, Fan, Shah Rukh Khan's Fan and uh, we'll talk about Fan and a lot more. Uh, Namrata, wonderful to have you on uh, nice. Bollywood Hangama first of all. Great and, to be um, here. You are regular with with Manish Sharma, mm. uh, so uh, how's it working with with Manish Sharma that that makes things interesting for you? It's Bangalore great. Bangalore Barat, you got like amazing response in terms of as a, as an editor. Yeah, I mean that Ranbir was our first film flipping together. Flipping and thanking you during all his speeches, both Ranbir yeah, and they were both very kind. Yeah. I mean, uh, we had great fun actually when I met Manish for the first time for Band Baja. I think we just uh, you know hit it off because we belong to the same kind of space in Delhi. We grew up to I mean in Delhi in similar kind of spaces there were so many connections in the sense of course we didn't know each other when we were in the university in Jee, delhi right but uh, we had too many connections and we became good friends so it was good so now we've done five films together i even did the film that he produced damla damla Aisha. Aisha. Yeah, damla so. Aisha. Yeah, another i think amazing film and in terms of editing as well i think it was absolutely spot on Now, fan. When it comes to fan, it, it's a very interesting project. Why I say that? I'm sure as an editor, it must have been hugely challenging <laughs> because you have to deal with the, uh, I think, uh, fantastic, amazing, massive VFX, mm. and uh, you have a double double role. Not merely a double role, but uh, uh, two characters which are not identical, yeah. but they somewhat like uh, glance at each other in terms mm. of looks. First of all, that aspect. How tough was that to handle? as an editor it was new certainly mm. and it took me a while to get into it because uh, there were so many places where i was just editing chroma you mm. know there was all green screen editing and i mean i had not done it at this level like even mm. kahani which i did had a lot of visual effects but right. not at at the scale sure. and also i mean the very very peculiarness of the vfx here was that they look alike as you just said mm. but he's shorter gaurav is shorter he's slightly punier i mean smaller Ji. so it was to get the perspective like they're not the same height so he has to look down i mean things like that but we've learned and we figured out in the way and so the first scene we ever did was the one where both of them are together mm. just to get a feel that all right. of us should be on the same page of as to how the vfx is done so we did that scene first which comes at a later point in the film mm. and then we got on to it but it was very interesting must because it was really must have been. Yeah. Must have been. the interesting part as a viewer uh, that uh, that uh, that i'm looking forward to as far as the movie is concerned and i'm sure a lot of people will be um, the continuity as far as gaurav is concerned especially because aryan is sharuk khan so we we've, mm. we've, we've known him mm. like that forever but uh, gaurav and the continuity will be i think a bit of a litmus test a bit of a acid test for you uh, was it in a way um it was but yeah. i think sharuk was so incredible as gaurav i mm. mean because gaurav is from delhi sharuk is from delhi he knows these people he has grown up like that he has that part inside him i feel he's quite a dilli wala in that sense so mm. i think for him it was tapping that and he stapped it so beautifully and to bring out the difference for me it was very interesting i mean i'm quite fond of him otherwise also mm. but this was really interesting where he plays a star and when he completely turns around and he plays gaurav and you're not able to make out you know that they're the same people so it was sure. damn interesting he's sure. done a swell job right and uh, there are very interesting um, confrontation scenes between between the two of them mm. between gaurav and aryan um which is uh, I'm, i'm sure that must have been interesting as well so could, could you could you talk about that yeah that's the first scene we did the first time they ever like come face to face is the scene that we all did for our our benefit first time because ki you know the vfx should know the editor should know the dop everybody should be on the same page so mm -hmm. it was it required a lot of back and forth for us to come to terms by confrontation i'm saying the, the the physical confrontations like say while 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 just moving on the on on, on the cars mm. and and apart from that we have some very interesting i think mm. Uh, mm. sort of mm. confrontations i'm talking about that 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 must have been like quite interesting as well in its own way yeah i mean of course there are places where we've shot with the body double there mm. are places where i mean so he would change he would become one per aryan and then we would shoot the entire aryan pass mm. then he would become gaurav and then we would shoot the entire gaurav pass mm. so he has knowledge of what he had done as aryan so like if he has to you know hit or gaurav or run after gaurav he knows like 
So it was, yeah, it was damn interesting. And also to see the transformation was amazing because first you're doing one thing as Aryan and then you're doing the dramatically opposite thing as Gaurav. Mm. So it was great fun. Like there's a chase sequence which we shot in Croatia. Right. And it's it's amazing because they're chasing each other. Right, exactly. So it was great fun. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, was, I was talking about that only. Mm. Uh, that, that was uh, because we've seen mm. that in the promo. It looks mm. very, very interesting. Mm. Now, Namrata, you've said uh, in an interview that the first reading of a script should touch me. If it doesn't, I reject it. I have to relate to the character or a part of the story to edit the film. Now, mm. that's very interesting because... Uh, I wouldn't have used uh, the word reject, but mm. okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. But, but, but the fact is that the yeah. somewhere, uh, because from what I've read about you, uh, uh, you lay a lot of emphasis as far as writing is concerned. Yeah, I have to like the. Mm. I like. I have to like what I read, mm. and I have to like the director because I'm spending six, eight months of my life doing something. Right. I have to enjoy it. I mean, for me, the process is really, really important because for me, the fun is there, right? Mm. I mean, I have to enjoy doing what I'm doing, so it's very important for me to right. take up a film based on. Mm. I mean, I have to relate to some character, I have to relate to the space. Like in Man Baja Bharat, I knew these people. Mm. I come from there, I knew these people. In Kahani, I completely related to Vidya's character. Similarly, you said that. In yeah. fact, I think you said a very interesting thing that uh, for that duration, you actually believe that you are Vidya's character yourself. I really felt mm. like her because I've been in, in spaces where mm. I have felt completely alienated like I've moved around in India quite a bit so I feel alienated uh, I have felt alienated like she does she comes from London she's in Calcutta a city she doesn't know right. I have also lived in Calcutta and I had felt the same way for the first six months of my life there mm. so I had totally I had totally a connection with her I felt like her mm. and I think that that really kind of increases my enjoyment of cutting a film. Ji. In fact, uh, Shah Rukh Khan has said that a fan is the most special film that he has ever done. Hmm. Uh, he has also said that, um, in fact, I, I, I spoke to him before Dilwale and he said that uh, when uh, Manish had approached him for this thing and Ad Aditya Chopra had come, they, they had they were sitting in, in, in Red Chili's office and they were just mulling over the fact that whether they should do a film like this or not because it's not an easy film to do in the first place and then they finally decided that, that, that they do it. Hmm. When you heard the script, what was your reaction like? Because um, many uh, people are saying that in a way this, this movie is uh, breaking the image of Shah Rukh Khan which has, because he has been what is perceived doing the similar kind of movies in the last few years. Mm. Um, what was your, your reaction when you read the script? Actually, Manish told me this uh, this story when we met like for Band Baja Bharat. He's had this story for the longest yes. time and Jee. he's Jee. been wanting to make this film mm. and he had to of course wait to reach a point where Shah Rukh would work with him. Mm. So, I have known this story since Band Baja Bharat for the last six years mm. and I mean what the peg for me that really like caught me was the fact that they look alike. Mm. That was very interesting for me. That is something I had not heard before or you know seen before. Mm. And I was like wow that would be so cool. And then you know slowly slowly you arrive at the thing that they're not completely look alike. They look a little alike. Like how you would see if you know uh, I mean they don't look identical. So sure. that was uh, what is the what is the duration of the film? The final cut has been uh, is, is already. It's still there. I mean, I don't know the final final duration because it also includes the end credits, which mm. I do not know how how long they are. Mm. But uh, it's it's like two fifteen, two ten, two fifteen. Dude, and the final final edit is locked. It is locked. So yeah. what, what is your, as, as a viewer, what is your personal, personal opinion? I like it. Okay. <laughs> I love it, yeah. Okay. okay, you love it. I love it. In the media, say for example, mm. and uh, even, even people, mm. everyone, is a, everyone in India knows about movies and cricket. Mm. Mm. They have an opinion and it seems very valid as well. Mm. Uh, like say for, for example, we are from media, I tend to re review movies at times as well and uh, I've been following movies for a long time. I love watching movies. Many a times you see these reviews and you feel that, uh, that uh, agar it, if the movie would have been like say 10 minutes shorter, it would mm. have been like really, really, really something else. So mm. like 15 minutes thoda zada hai. And there have been occasions when, when movies actually have been edited out. Um, in the recent time, we've had, I think, in Prebhat and then Bio, some, some portions were edited out. So after release? After release. Achha, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, it has happened in the past. With, with yeah, yeah, I've heard. Yeah. Uh, it has happened. Now, uh, what is your reaction when you, when, when you see such, such, such criticism, such, uh, uh, such statements coming out? What, what is your reaction like? 
How do you look at it? I mean, I would say that initially it used to really bother me. I think in my first two films, Oh Lucky and uh, Ishkia, mm -hmm. because I used to read all the reviews and I used to get really bothered about what's written. Mm -hmm. But I mean, with experience, I've realized that how people perceive editing mm -hmm. in reviews or when even audiences talk mm -hmm. about editing, it's not really what they're talking about. Editing is not just pace of the film. I mean, somebody has written it, somebody has shot it, somebody has edited it. Mm -hmm. And for somebody to really see it and understand what is the problem, I think is very difficult. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, I mean, I'm very critical of my work. I always make sure that I go and watch it in the theatre. And I know where I've gone wrong. And in every film, you have places where you feel that, you know, ye better ho sakta tha, ye chota ho sakta tha. you have these things. Mm -hmm. But honestly, now I don't take reviews so seriously because I also find them a little um, like not that I mean they make statements which are I mean which if I argue cannot stand but mm -hmm. it's okay I mean everybody has a right to their opinion and it's great I mean sure. I like the way the world is it's okay <laughs> You've had some amazing films, uh, very tight films as well. Hmm. Uh, but when it comes to movie like Jab Ta Ke Jaan, hmm. like a Yash Chopra film, Shah Rukh Khan, uh, Katrina Kaif, Anushka Sharma, hmm. many felt that it was slightly on the longer side. Yeah, totally. And uh, do you do you accept that criticism that is valid? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. It was it was quite long, yeah. Right. Okay. And uh, on the on the other spectrum, a movie like Kahani was 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 labeled as it's extremely taut and it's like really fast paced. Mm. Some something that. No one expected Kahani to do so exceptionally well at the box office somewhere. Mm. Did, you, did you expect it to do so well? I really liked the film mm. and uh, I mean whoever we showed the film had mm. a very good reaction. But of course, I mean final verdict you don't know. But mm. the first time I saw it with the, the actual audience in the theatres, I mean I thought okay, I think we've made a good film. Right and um, now when, you, when you're just editing a, a, a movie, uh, there are lots of factors. Say for example, um, if you don't have the raw material in terms of what's being shot, in terms of maybe at times the lighting is not the way you think that it should be or maybe anything else. Mm. Uh, shots, though, I think they take from a lot of angles, so I, I'm sure that you have not a lot everybody, of options. Not, not everybody, not all directors, okay. no. Mm. Quite a few, I think yeah. most of them they, they tend to do it. So how, what, is, what is your reaction when you feel that maybe if it was better, maybe you could have yeah, yeah. I feel that, you feel that in every film, mm. I feel it in all films, mm. but every film has its own politics. Mm. Like, I mean, ultimately it is a director's film and you have to, you know, kind of respect the director's vision. And in some places you're able to push, some places you're not able to push, and some places you don't want to push. I mean, whatever it is. Mm. So every film is really a case study in itself. Mm. It's very hard to generalize and say that it's like ho sakta hai. Mm. Like, uh, like uh, Debakar doesn't shoot too much. He's you've very. Done some, you've done a lot of work with, with Debakar as well. Yeah, I've done four films four with him. Yeah. Yeah. Love four. Sex with Doka and. Uh, Oye Lucky, I did Lucky. Shanghai, I did Bumkesh. Bum, Bum as well. Yeah. I also worked on his short film. So uh, quite a bit. Ahilya, uh, you've done for Sujay yeah. Kush, which, yeah. which is really nice. Yeah. I think all the movies that you mentioned in terms of uh, Beat Love, Sex with Doka, Oye Lucky, and um, Bhumkesh, I think some people, they felt that maybe it could yeah. have been PCR slightly, second half, people, yeah. people had this yeah. opinion. Apart from that, uh, which, is the, which, which, is, which is the fourth film? Uh, Shanghai. Shanghai. Shanghai, once again, I think are extremely well made and uh, I don't think, mm. from what I remember, anyone has had issues with in terms of pacing at all. It was very, yeah. very tightly made film. Uh, do you do you enjoy? And he gave you the chance for the first time. Yeah, he saw, we're lucky it, he I saw one of your documentaries, I believe. And yeah, that's that's how you yeah. give give the chance. Uh, do, you, do you owe this to Anubakar Banerjee? I mean, of course. Part? I mean, it was really nice of him to take somebody who is who had not edited a film before. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I I'm always grateful for. Uh, for that to him and I really enjoy working with him Bahut mm. also he's also from Delhi so we have a common language there too mm. so I, I really enjoy working with him Namta, um, a lot of uh, people would want to join film films um, even the technical aspect of, not everyone is, is keen on doing uh, like in front of the camera in term, as, an, as an actor or actresses. What is it that you, that you would like to tell aspiring women um, editors who are, who are aspiring to? Because mostly it is considered like a male domain. 
Uh, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm saying generally because yeah. you are sitting in a editing editing room all the time. You have men to deal with all the time. Yep. Many a times it is odd hours. Uh, what is it that you'd like to uh, share your thoughts, or what is it that you'd like to tell people? I mean, I think to break, to be able to break all these things jee, of jee. male domination. Yevo, I mean, you really have to go out there and start working. I think sure. as women and. Uh, whether i mean why just editing mm. even cinematography sound direction everywhere mm. absolutely and i think most of these things are a reflection of the society we are in so as things change outside things mm. also change inside the industry right so i would say that just go for it i mean if you feel and problems are there in every sector i mean mm. you know like is the corporate sector not male dominated mm, of course it is absolutely. every every sector even like government jobs there are a lot of men mm. but you negotiate your way it's just that maybe people feel that film industry is a really you know big dark place and aisa nahi hai it's Jee. not like that it's very negotiable of course you'll face problems and uh, you'll face those problems even in a local train so mm. you just have to negotiate i guess You also said that I don't even think about awards. My biggest nightmare is when I finish the edit of a film, I wonder if I will be able to edit another one. Hmm. With every new film, I feel I feel the same way. Storytelling is a skill; it keeps getting better with practice. But you have to keep trying and do your best. You consider yourself as a storyteller. Uh, I'm not too sure how many editors would be saying that you want to direct a movie as well. I, I, I think even have, as an yeah. editor, I consider myself a storyteller. Story I think teller. my prime job is to be able to tell the story the director wants in the best possible way. Yes. मतलब whatever his vision is of the story. Mm. I mean the way he tells me. I mean for me, the whole idea of being in films was like you know how my grandmother used to tell me stories every night. For me, it's the same charm. I really like it. I really think okay how can we tell the story better can we turn it around like this can we do this can we do that and arrive at a place where you feel okay this is the best way to tell this story for mm-hmm. me that is the you know that is the charm of being an editor mm-hmm. not saying it is right all the time it isn't you live and you learn right but i that is the best thing for me what about your directorial venture when do when we see that happening Now I hope soon. I mean, I don't know. There is nothing concrete yet, but mm. let's hope maybe next year, so next year. Do you have year. actors in mind? Uh, any actors in mind? No, 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 no. My God, she is so diplomatic. She is not spilling. No, but I all. don't. I okay. don't. I don't really have. I mean, okay. I first have to figure out the screenplay mm. and figure out what I want to do. I would love to work with new people. Sure, sure. If I have the option. And now. Amongst your entire film filmography, what do you think has been the most satisfying work? You you've got a national award for Kahani, mm. but personally, what has been the most satisfying work for you? Every film has been important for me in different ways. Like I really like Ishkia because Ishkia was the first film where I understood the idea of pace. I mm. think. Yeah, I think it was it was a very nicely paced movie. Yeah, very nicely paced movie. Yeah, and I really struggled with it through mm. the film, and I think finally where we arrived, I was really in. I mean, it was a very big learning for me. Then Band Baja was interesting because the first time I cut songs and mm. integrated them into film. So for me, that was very interesting. Mm. Of course, I've grown up with seeing all that. Like in Kia nahi tha usse pehle kabhi bhi. Jee jee. So that was interesting. Kahani was amazing because. I mean, I I was I was totally engulfed in that film. Mm. I've never had that kind of ex. I mean, I had never had that kind of experience before that, where I just I was just living it. I don't even remember the edit of the film. I mm. think it was really like a theta experience for me. Mm. Then, uske baad, I really enjoyed Titli because again, it was a very very tough film. I mean, in terms of the footage, in terms of the pacing, it was very interesting for me. Something I'd not done before. Then, Fan is very interesting mm. because it's it's based on somebody we know. and uh, but it also has all these paraphernalia of vfx but it's a thriller so it needs to keep everything going you know things have to keep moving so Bilkul. i enjoy who have been your uh, most uh, favorite uh, editors we had like raj rajkumar hirani i think is is a is a very fine editor in his, in mm. his own way he mm. i think likes editing most mm. uh, from what what i understand and from what I've, whatever i've spoken to him But personally, what have been your who have been your uh, benchmarks or people that you've really admired 
वो आई थिंक इन इंडिया आई रियली एडमायर श्रीकर प्रसाद आई थिंक द काइंड ऑफ वराइटी ऑफ वर्क ही हैज डन इज ट्रिमेंडस एंड आई ऑल्सो हैव दी अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मीट हिम इज सो हम्बल एंड इज सो ग्रेट आई मीन आई 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 वुड इवन कॉल हिम इफ आई एम स्टक आई मीन आई थिंक इट ही इज ग्रेट एनर्जी लाइक इवन इन एशिया आई मीन वी शूड द फाइनल कट टू हिम एंड ही वज सो ग्रेशियस एंड सो नाइस एंड गेव इज वेरी ऑनेस्ट फीडबैक विच आई थिंक हेल्प द फिल्म अलॉट so he is he is great i mean abroad there are a lot of them i mean who i really admire like i admire salim menke talm i mean the usual ones but but it's usually based on films i like films that you know push boundaries like if it's classical you push a push the boundary in the classical mode or if it is if you're going anarchy anarchist then you push the boundary there I mean I I like to push boundaries so mm. I really enjoy people's work where they are doing something different like mm. I'd seen this film Coen Brothers had done uh, the man who wasn't there and for me it was so amazingly edited all the films are including Fargo mm. I feel they make it count like ed- they make editing count things like mm. that so In fact, there's one one quote about fan that I'd like to just you 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 mention. I just like to take your opinion on that. Shah Rukh has balanced both roles very nicely. It's difficult to play both sides of the spectrum, but in fan, he's understood the psychology of both the characters really well. In fact, there's an action sequence in the end of the film where I just could not decide whose side I am on. The, the, I think I, think I finally part. decided whose side I am on. You but have? I want you to watch the film ah. and tell me. <laughs> Because uh, I mean, it, you know, like when I was uh, do, doing certain scenes, I felt that I really like Gaurav. Mm. Because of the person he is, there is a sort of innocence to him. But now after the film, I don't know. I mean, I think I lean towards Aryan more. Acha, that's interesting. That's interesting. You're balancing it out. Okay. Now, Mata, we'll we'll quickly do a little mm-hmm. bit of a rapid fire with you. Okay, uh, so rapid fire with Namrata Rao. What do you do when you get stressed out while editing a film for hours at stretch? I meditate. Do you meditate? Mm. Besides, uh, fan S R K's best performance was it? I mean, my personal favorite. Uh, of course, I like Chakde. Kabi na, kabi na. A film you enjoyed working on the most? Kahani. Kahani, okay. It's most challenging project of your career most challenging i think would be titli the weirdest demand made by a producer to you any any weird demand that there have been yeah timelines like okay i want this song tomorrow <laughs> like in should they see romance that song that we did where the title track right. it was done in hours my god okay mm. one thing you'd like to edit or rather change about the following hmm. so what is it that you like hmm. to edit since hmm. you are a national award winning direct uh, editor okay. uh, aditya chopra what is it that you like to edit about aditya chopra that he has more time that he should have more time that he need ha huh? that he has more time yeah okay. because he's always busy right. yeah shahrukh khan that uh, he would sleep a little hmm. eat a little smoke a little less <laughs> Ranveer Singh. Ranveer Singh, to calm down. <laughs> Akshay Kumar. Akshay Kumar. I've never worked with him, so I don't know. Okay. He looks quite dapper. I think with his uh, salt and pepper, I really liked the way he was looking in his lift. Yeah. So yeah. He should keep it. Yeah, I think natural look. Look very nice. Sushant Singh Rajput. Also to relax a little. I think he gets really like in the role too much. Right, the occasion. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think it, it tends to. You also edited Kai Pocha, I believe. No, you I did Shuddhesi Romance Shuddhi Shuddhi and Home Kesh and Biam Kesh Pan. Okay, uh, Namrata, it was a pleasure talking to you and uh, looking forward to your work in Fan and looking forward to all your future ventures. Mm-hmm. And thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we have from Bollywood Angama. Keep on watching. Thank you.